Hey folks, welcome to the first installment in a series of videos I'll be posting online periodically called TK Actions V5 Quick Tips. In each video, I'll share an insight or a technique for using Tony Kuiper's V5 panel. If you aren't already familiar with the V5 panel, you can find out more about it at the link in the notes. For a complete manual to all the features of the V5 panel, check out my V5 video guide course. In these videos, I'm using the Creative Cloud version of the panel. If you're using the CS6 version of the panel, remember that it looks a little different and doesn't have all the features that the Creative Cloud panel does. Let's begin with the basics. For this first video, I'm going to show you how to use the V5 panel to do some fundamental luminosity mass tasks. I'll cover how to view and compare luminosity mass, add a luminosity mass to an adjustment layer, and change out mass on adjustment layers. Let's start with viewing and selecting a luminosity mask. In the V5 Rapid Mask module, start by clicking the Composite button to set the luminosity lock channel in the Channels panel and to see the initial mask displayed in the image. The initial mask is a Lights 1 mask generated from the Composite RGB channel. Clicking on another button allows you to view a new mask. Simply continue clicking Mask until you find the one that targets the tones that you want. Once the initial luminosity lock channel is generated, the V5 panel creates all subsequent masks very quickly. If you want to view masks from a specific color channel, color range, or by saturation, then you just click on a desired luminosity lock button and all subsequent buttons will now create masks from that channel or color range. For example, this is what the red channel luminosity mask would look like, or green, or blue. And once you select one, let's say the green, then all subsequent masks that I create are now being created from the green channel. Clicking the composite button again sets the luminosity lock channel back to the RGB channel. Clicking the X button clears the luminosity lock and rapid mask channels from the channels panel. So now I'm just going to click the composite button again to reset the luminosity lock channel to be a lights one that's generated from the RGB composite channel. Once you've selected the mask you want, the next step is often to add it to an adjustment layer. Unlike previous panels, the V5 panel allows you to directly apply mass and avoid creating mass from selections, which are 8-bit instead of 16-bit. Once you've found the mass that you want, simply select an adjustment layer from the Adjust menu, and the adjustment layer will be created with the corresponding 16-bit mask applied directly to it no intermediate 8-bit selection required. At this point I'll mention that the CS6 version of the panel doesn't have the capability to have an adjust menu like the CC panel does. In the CS6 panel what you would need to do is create the levels adjustment layer first from the control module then select the mask you want and then click the apply button to apply the mask to the adjustment layer. Now make an adjustment to the adjustment layer and those adjustments will be applied to the image and controlled by the luminosity mask. This is what that adjustment would look like without the luminosity mask. Sometimes the first mask you choose isn't quite the right one and you need to swap it out for a different one. With the V5 panel you simply click a new mask button to view the mask and then click the apply button to directly apply it to the adjustment layer. As simple as that is, there's actually even a faster method for doing the same thing. For this method, simply check the auto apply box in the rapid mass module if you're using the Creative Cloud version or if you're using the CS6 version, then you'd need to move over to the layer mask module and use that. Now, with a single click, a new mask is applied directly to the adjustment layer. And in this way, one click at a time, you can switch out luminosity mass until you find the one that is the right one for the adjustment and gives the look you want. So, as you can see, the V5 panel makes it super fast and easy to view and select mass, add a mass to an adjustment layer, and switch out mass. Thanks for joining me for this TK Actions V5 Quick Tip. I hope it was good for you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.
If you're viewing this video on YouTube, make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss future V5 quick tips.